All right, what's up guys? So Matt here back with another video on my 86 Volvo 240DL. And what I'm gonna be doing today is replacing my timing belt and the front seals. And on the front of these engines, which is the B230Fs, there's three seals. So you have your cam seal on the top, the intermediate seal in the middle, and your crankshaft seal on the bottom. The intermediate and the camshaft seals are the same size. And then the crankshaft seal is bigger. Oh, what's up Georgie? What I'm gonna do real quick is disconnect the battery. Basically you gotta remove the fan housing, the fan clutch, these four bolts off the hub. This slides off, then I can loosen up the pulleys, pull these belts off and have access to this. So I'm gonna start by loosening up the, I believe it's a 12 millimeter bolt right there. Then that lets me loosen up this 10 millimeter bolt right here, which will loosen up the pulley. I got one there. I've got one right there. There's the other 12 mil. And there's the tensioning 10 mil bolt right there that I got to loosen up. Okay, so now that the, uh, the belts are removed, everything's loosened up, I have access to the timing cover. There's supposed to be two 10 millimeter bolts holding that top cover on. Well, obviously I lost one. Okay, now it's time to get the crankshaft pulley off. But, even though it takes a 24 millimeter socket, when you go to back this off, it's gonna crank the whole engine. So you gotta get something to stop the engine from spinning. I used to take a flathead screwdriver and jam it up in here and trap the flywheel. But I'm gonna try a new approach with a piece of chain and a U-bolt. Rather than buying IPD USA special tool that uh, is like $55, $60 to hold the crankshaft still while you back the bolt off, even though it's only about 44 foot-pounds of torque, it's a pain in the ass to try and get it still, but looking on the forums, I found a picture of this and I didn't come up with it, but the dude on the uh, forum that did, props to you. So what I did was I got me a U-bolt, got the two bolts here and a little piece of chain, put it through like that. Now it's here. I'm gonna fasten the chain to it and put it around something sturdy. Okay, so got my bolt in that bad boy right there. And I'm just gonna use the torque wrench and it takes uh, a 24 mil socket. First loosen that bolt on the tensioner, then get a pair of channel locks and pinch this spring together and we'll place a pin or a screw right in there which will hold it. Okay, so now we're just going to remove the camshaft gear, intermediate gear, and then the crankshaft pulley gear which will allow us to pull off this back cover Then we can remove the tensioner and get access to our seals. And just what I expected, I, I suspected the camshaft seal was leaking oil. And that's what it looks like we have here. As for the others, I can't really tell, but I'm gonna get this cleaned up and remove them. All right, so I'm gonna start with the camshaft seal and use this little tool I got. Here's the new L-ring seal. I'm gonna take a little bit of oil and lube up the inside and do that for the other two and then press them in. 
Okay, so now that the seals are in, we need to put our back timing cover on and it should just slip right on. Make sure that key slot lines up with the pin right there. And now, as long as you kept that screw in your tensioner, all you gotta do is slide it on and put the 17 millimeter washer and bolt back on. All right, so the first mark that, or the first gear that we're gonna wanna line up since this is a non-interference engine is to this pink dot that I made years ago. And if you look, there's a little indentation in the plastic. You're gonna wanna line that up with the white mark Right there my finger is on the cam gear. Alright, now that the cam gear is in place, we're going to want to move our intermediate gear in place. If you look right here on the plastic timing cover, there's that indentation in the plastic where I put that pink nail polish. You're going to want to line that groove up with the white dot right there on the intermediate gear. So now what we're want, gonna wanna do is take our other flat washer piece, make sure the flange this time is flared out, and line up the keyhole right there. Okay, so once this washer is on, you're gonna wanna take your lower cover, put it over it. Now we're gonna put the crankshaft pulley on, make sure that key lines up and you'll feel it. Just like that. And now, you see that that notch in the crankshaft pulley is directly lined up with the zero. Now we can take the bolt out, take the pulley off, take the cover off, and put our belt on. And if you're looking down from here, this groove will line up with the middle tooth right here which will line up with this. All right, so how I start with my belt is I'll take the single line, line it up with the single cam dot and also the back plate, and get a pair of vice grips, hold that. Then take the line for the intermediate gear and line it up with the pink and the white dot on the gear here. Now we can loosen up the tensioner and remove the screw. Alright, I'm going to put the washer on. Make sure that tooth lines up. Now we can put the lower cover on. I'm going to go ahead and put that 10 mil bolt back in this hole right here. All right, so now that the bottom cover is on, I'm gonna rechain and U-bolt that crankshaft pulley, tighten it to 44 foot-pounds, and put this top cap on, and then put everything back on in reverse order. All right, so all the belts are back on tight. I've tightened everything down. The only thing I didn't put on was the fan cover. Um, I just wanna make sure everything works right, and that's one last step I have to do if something's wrong. Um, I want to say thanks for watching if you watched all the way through and sorry I couldn't get a lot of the camera angles um, as time progresses you kind of just want to get the job done so if you have any questions just leave them down in the comments below and subscribe please like the video and uh, give it a thumbs up thanks